Next deck, Sleep Cursed Fae. So I saw this list from the top 32 of the challenge, and there is some interesting things going on. So first and foremost, this is the new card that we're trying to build around here. So it's not the most powerful card because it's one mana for a 3-3. It has flying, um, but it enters the battlefield tapped with three stun counters, which means that if it would if it would untap, you remove a stun counter from it instead, and you can pay two to untap it. So it's kind of like suspend three for a one mana 3-3 flyer. But the cool thing is it's a wizard. So if you play it on if you play it early, it enables turn three flame of Anor. And then like the idea is you're using like the same cards that Murktide does, like, you know, counter spell, bolt, unholy heat, to buy time until turn four when you get to finally start cooking with this. And the other cool thing that you have is dress down. So the cool line here is you play dress down on turn two on their end step, and then you go untap and play Sleep Curse Fairy. And when you have Dress Down in play, this doesn't enter the battlefield with any counters. It's just a one mana 3 3 flyer. Uh, now, granted, with Dress Down in play for that one turn window, it no longer has ward. So if they have a removal spell, they can use that opportunity to kill it. Um, but that is kind of a cool interaction. And then the rest of the deck is like your normal blue red fair, iteration, counter spell, bolt, heat. Uh, you know what those cards do Subtlety, Fury, uh, Lorien to enable only two Merc Tides. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then. <laughs> I don't know if anybody noticed this little cheeky thing in the mana base. We have one copy of Riptide Lab. Uh, no idea if if the <laughs> if this card's playable, but it is really cool with Snapcaster Mage. So let's do it. Didn't you just explain it in a Spiring Spike stream? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Are we watching a paid actor? Yeah. <laughs> Turns out I was the paid actor all along. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. here's the thing you have to realize i would much rather like i would much rather create engaging and interesting and fun content than just like play the most competitive and i think that's maybe just like kind of a thing that is i don't know magic players just seem to be much more invested in the competitive aspect than just like having a good time i don't know just, like, in a general sense. Maybe that's a bad take. You don't want to play Scam for eight hours a day? Yeah, no, I'm, no thanks. I'm good. Winning is the fun part? Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's like, I, I don't really care about winning. I'm just here to have a good time. Winning just doesn't matter. Creating engaging and fun and entertaining content is way more important. I know. Everybody always like, you know, like, what's the correct line? It's like, who cares? <laughs> what if the correct line is just like, I don't know. Uh, that's fine. What if I just, like, subtlety pitch? That's not a good play. I could. I mean, it's the content play. Playing a bad deck optimally is peak entertainment. Yeah, exactly. You know? Watch you going 3-2 every day of the week. Yeah. That's why we're here, you know. Exclusively played Blood Prank, Blood Crank combo since day one. Did they reveal a companion? They did, right? Kekruga? You want to Kekruga me? Get out of here. Okay, go. So we know they don't have beans. No beans in sight. Hmm, I really wanted to play Subtlety this turn, but I guess I'll counter this. Ooh, they didn't play a land. That's nice. I like that. This card is so bad. I mean, I'll play it. Like, whatever. <laughs> this card's so bad, though. <laughs> oh, man. God, that emote is so good. Peepo Pondering Beans. That's, that's got to be my favorite Twitch emote of all time. It's so goaded. Opponent reading Sleep Curse Fairy. Wondering where it all went wrong. Yeah, the idea is like you play it with Dress Down. It's for Pioneer Training Grounds combo. Somebody pointed out that if you can if you can somehow make this thing tap for three mana, you have infinite mana. Not quite sure how you're doing that, but... 
<laughs> I think Turtle Power said like Incubation Druid plus plus Agatha Soul Cauldron. I cast Subtlety. This might be a spew. They do Dress Down Uro combo. Exactly. They're going to kill my Slave Curse Fairy? Deal. Three Paradise Mantles. I don't think that works, right? Because I think the Mantle it gives it a separate instance of tapping for a single mana. I believe that's how that works. Need spells. Preferably ones that draw cards. <clears throat> Fable Numero Trace. Okay. So we let them have Fable, we end of turn, Subtlety, and then untap and just Fury this, I guess. Puts them on a pretty big clock, right? Do, do, do. Soul Cauldron is sold out everywhere. Jeez. Is it like, is it that good in Yogmoth? I know it did well over the weekend, but like, how good is it? I think Claudia won the challenge with it. All right, kill your homie. Attack. Go. So they go to 10. We have this much power in play. Did I see Claudio's matchups? No, I did not see Claudio's matchups. I have nine damage in play. What were they? Okay. Well, they can't have Ephemerae because they're, they're a Karuga deck. I guess they could just pick up Karuga. Okay. Do they have a land? No land. Sheesh. Draw a spell at some point, right? A standard cascade deck. Somebody showed that to me, and I didn't. I didn't bother reading the cards to see what the what it actually did. So I have like I don't even know how it works. I saw the deck list, but I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> spell, spell. It's a pretty good spell. Uh, do I kill reflection or draw two? My opponent typed in chat full versus death question mark. I don't, I don't know what that means. Chat, anybody know what this means? What does that mean? Did they put a spell on me? I hope not. If them putting the spell on me was me drawing a spell, then I appreciate it. I think I'm just going to draw two. Is SCF a wizard? Yes. Yes, this is a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. I mean, I guess we can get cooking. Yeah, if I just draw into a bolt, then it's kind of the same thing as killing the reflection. Yeah, snap here would have been gross. I can untap it twice, and then untap it again on our turn. Seven mana, three, three flyer. Okay. But they can't kill the sleep curse fairy because they have to pay four, right? Yeah, they can't kill this. Which is nice. I appreciate that. They can kill this. They can. How do they pay four? How are they killing both? I need to pay two. Oh, right. Three, one, and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, one, and then copy. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'm done. Well, it appears they have messed up. <laughs> the ward countered it. I don't know. I thought they had to target this twice for some reason. D Jeff W X. Thank you for the nine months. Yeah, Twitch is weird sometimes. Thank you for the nine months, buddy. I appreciate that. I will not pay Ward Giga Chat. 
Uh, pay two? No, I think I won't. I think I will not pay two. I'll take six, though. If they didn't split targets. Uh, yeah, so they probably fucked up, right? Because I think they split targets in the first activation. Probably forgetting about the ward. Untap. Oh, we're cooking, all right. We are cooking. They four gore. They four gore. Now they don't have a fury, which is nice. They could have another solitude, I guess. It would have to be a third solitude, though. I gotta tell you, <laughs> we are not very good at drawing spells this game. This deck only has 19 lands, too, which is insane. But now they go to one and they can't fetch. Yeah, six mana, three, three flyer. What do you mean? <clears throat> six mana, three, three flyers are goaded. They did have the solitude. <sighs> We're definitely full of this game. Definitely full. Can confirm. Should have untapped again. So this is what they meant by full versus death. Oh yeah, we know their last card's Karuga. Okay, good card. Good card. I have no fetchables. There's no reason to play the Misty. They typed in chat, full versus death question mark, and I didn't know what that meant. Honestly, I kind of want to hold the subtlety. No. Nah, mm. It's just bad if they drew exactly binding. Because then they can just go binding, untap, slam, Karuga. Yeah. I knew I was going to get punished. <laughs> Four left. Four left. Four left. This is insanity. This is actually insanity. Oh my god. Please can I draw a spell? Please. Thank you. Almost forgot that card was in my deck. Which two do we want? Uh, Bolt region probably. Because then if they fetch for Kruger they're dead. Uh, one, two, three, four. There's no point in exiling more spells. It's lethal anyways. I'd rather keep both these in the graveyard in case we draw snap. Oops. Although they're dead if we draw snap anyways. I will bolt you. Bolt yourself now. Alright, I somehow won that game. <laughs> That was uh, that was certainly a game of all time. That was uh, that was one of the games of all time. Okay, Kekruga, huh? Kekruga, luster bad, surgery bad, scolding. Doesn't counter fury, but it counters solitude. Also, doesn't counter omnath. I don't know if moon's that great. They have solitude for moon, right? <clears throat> Some clouds. Got you. Yeah, I don't know if Megas is that good. I definitely want Dispute. I think these are all bad. Commandeer is, like, interesting. But it's not good against the Elementals. It's only good against probably exactly Fable. Um, Could bring in, like, one Scolding, I guess. Just for Solitude. I don't want too many. They probably have Ring, right? Let's bring in this. Commandeer is good against Fable Tef Ring. Yeah, you can you can take their binding too. You can do that. Shave a bolt. Shave. I don't even know. Well, these cards are pretty good. Shave one of these, maybe. I don't want to, but I feel like I should. Yeah, what if we shave some lands? I drew way too many last game. <clears throat> Could shave more bolts. One of the subtleties. Yeah, bolt's not that great against them. We'll try this. I think heat's better than bolt. 
because you can heat Omnath. But that's mostly why I want to keep heat over over Bolt. Fading nothing. All right, in the queue. This hand is excellent. I'll keep. I mean, I agree that shaving subtlety is like kind of sus, but what else do you want to cut? <clears throat> Where are the basics from? They are from Unfinity. Unfinity. We can't cut the Sleep Curse Fairy. It's uncuttable. Please play a spell. Please play a spell. Hopefully it's Fable. I mean, whatever. Any three drop encountering, obviously. I'm going to counter this so I can use my mana efficiently. The question is, do I EI and only hold up Dispute? I feel like we can wait one more turn. Let's wait one more turn. Just in case they decided to play Refirst over Fable, because if I go EI, hold up counter, hold up Dispute, then I can't counter a Fable. Yeah, we can also, if they don't do anything, we can just go end step draw two. Or spell flood at this game. We'll find all the we'll find all the lands from last game. Don't worry. We'll just let them have this and kill it. Yeah, it's fine. I'll t I'll take my my minus one. It's a much more efficient use of my mana. Go here. Deal five. Just like using my mana efficiently when I can. I believe we're on the now the death side of full versus death. Yeah. Interesting. Let's do that instead. I was gonna play expressive, but expressive is kind of really bad if they have disputes. I'm just gonna wait a turn. I mean, I guess now they can just go Omnath and dispute my dispute, which would be kind of sketch. Yeah, if you snap pack dispute, you get the discount. All right, probably going to get disputed, but it is what it is. The way they kind of played this, wow, they didn't have it? That's surprising. The way they played this, I kind of assumed they had dispute. That's a good draw, too. Uh, Hand, bottom, exile, play this, go... That helps. Now we can either Snap Dispute or Counterspell. Yeah, maybe they have second Omnath. Although if they had Dispute, they probably would have disputed the EI, right? Most likely. Well, it's because they're playing Karuga. Teferi Time Raveler. This I think I should probably Snap Dispute versus Counterspell. Yeah, I think Snap Dispute's better. Oh, wait, they have three men up. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, this was definitely not the line then. <laughs> Guys, we just wanted to tap them out. It's fine. <laughs> we just wanted to tap them out. It's fine. Uh... I mean, yeah, it's it's honestly maybe it's actually a fine play because now we tap them out and slam fury. So it might not actually be that bad. There's no way they're bouncing snap, right? That's just not... Okay, well, sure. Maybe they have subtlety? They could subtlety the Fury. I could pitch. I don't want to pitch. I'm just going to hard guest. Eh. I could pitch, though. They have four cards left. Pitch lets me hold up all of my mana. Hmm. Snap flame. I, well, I mean, if I'm going to tap out, I'm going to kill the Teferi, right? I do want a threat. There's just, like, a lot of things that can go wrong if I tap out for Fury. <laughs> There's a lot of things that can go wrong. But it is what it is. I think I think it's okay. 
I guess I could have murked because they minus the very last turn and they couldn't bounce the Murk Tide. Maybe that was fine. Nah, Flame does not kill walkers. <clears throat> it all worked out. You sure about that? <laughs> now they have an Omnath. I don't know if it necessarily worked out. Yeah, I don't know about that. They have six mana. Surely they can't do anything bad with six mana, right? Nothing bad can happen to us with their six mana. Oh, okay. Well, this is totally fine. <laughs> yeah, this is... I could care less about this. Now I could snap flames. It's bad into exactly dispute. I don't think I have a different line. I guess the other line is like... EI, look for Fetchland Heat. I'm just going to go Snap Flame. Cast. Target player, target creature. Does this resolve? Didn't think we'd get this far. Uh, I guess I'll play the Fairy. Why not? Sure. Go. Is this the first game playing playing Fey? Yes, it is. Why do you ask? I promise this is the first game. There definitely was not a league before this that I O2 dropped. This is the first time we played with this card. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, I also played like shit in the first league, so I wanted to run it back. So they have Karuga X. I'm just gonna play a Merc Titan, hold up double counter spell. Two, three, four, five. Go. Yeah, I was just messing with you. No more gons. They've gone through three of them. Full versus death. All right. Full has emerged victorious. Not going to play like shit this league. All right. I promise. I will play I will play perfectly this league, alright. Subtlety, subtlety, Lorian Flame. This is kind of a cringe hand. What could go wrong? American Sports Egg. Yes, it's called it's actually called Hand Egg. Hand egg. Because you take an egg and you put it in your hand. No, my fantasy team name is She Mixin' On My Johnson. Well, see, here's the joke, okay? I drafted Chubba Hubbard as well, and I was going to put She Mixin' On My Johnson till I get a Chubba. But unfortunately, the Sleeper Fantasy app does not allow you to have that many characters. So then I reduced it to She Mixin' On My Johnson. Can't watch football till the Cowboys start sucking again. I mean, to be fair, okay, here's the thing. The Cowboys won last night because they played against the worst team in the league. The Giants are abysmal. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Giants fans, but I'm not really sorry. The Giants are atrocious. <laughs> like, let's play against a real team before we talk about the Cowboys actually having a good season. Daniel Jones? I don't even think... I don't necessarily think that Daniel Jones is a bad football player. I just think that the Giants' management is awful. <clears throat> I think Dan Jones has some some interesting talent. Like Dan Jones can cook, you know. Do, 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 do. Cowboys cope every year until they lose to the Niners in the playoffs. Yeah, but this is the year that's not going to happen, right? This is surely the year. Get purted on. <laughs> Stop. Uh, assuming I'm local to Dallas. I'm not, actually. Never listen to the fake Jerry Jones bit on the ticket. I'm actually not local to Dallas. I live in. Uh, I live on the East Coast. I'm in Mass. I am a, a Cowboys fan living in the lovely state of Massachusetts. Mostly because I hate the Patriots. I, ca I cannot stand the Patriots. What's my plan this game? I don't even know. 
don't really have a good plan. <clears throat> I guess I could just keep making land drops. I'm just going to go Island Pass. Hard Guest Subtlety. Yeah. Just, like, keep passing back and forth, because they're obviously playing around Counter Magic. Any Steelers enjoyers? Dude, the Steelers got... The Steelers got... Like, they just got destroyed yesterday. It's so bad. They got ranched. <clears throat> that game was hard to watch. So, 0-7s for the Steelers fans in the chat. Yeah, let's just get every everybody in the chat 07 for the poor Steelers fans. <laughs> that game was so rough. Alright, it's gonna keep holding. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could go dress down Fury, kill these two. I think I'll just wait though. Yeah, let's just wait one more turn. How the fairy? How has the fairy felt so far? Eh, mid. I haven't done the cool like end of turn dress down untap play fairy. That hasn't come up yet. But I mean, I think that is a cool aspect of it, and like the fact that it's a one mana card that turns on flame of anor that's hard to kill because of the ward. I think also has some merit. I don't know. Need to play more with it, but it's like it's felt okay so far. So no attack, but they chose not to court. Okay, this works out perfectly because I think what's gonna happen is I'm going to end step Subtlety. They're going to take the opportunity to play Chord, and then I can just set up the Dress Down Fury line. <clears throat> like, I'm going to incentivize them to cast the Chord now. Which, if they have Chord, they're definitely going to cast it now. So I'm kind of baiting them. Or not. Okay, that's fine. Well, I tried to bait them. Didn't work out that well. But I mean, now we can just kind of chill, right? Attack for three, pass, play another subtlety. We don't have to do anything. We've kind of stolen the initiative here. And they're obviously playing around counter magic heavy. Little did they know, my hand does not contain a single counter spell. So now I'm the scam. Riptide dress down. What do you mean, Riptide dress down? You can't bounce the Dress Down with Riptide. This only bounces a wizard. I mean, they're going to get Grist here, right? There's no point to Dress Down here. Uh, Yeah. <clears throat> I wish this could hit Planeswalkers. <clears throat> Would Flame of Anor be too good if it could go after Planeswalkers? I don't think so. What's up, Ojago? <clears throat> Where's Oliphant, the pitch to Fury? <laughs> How's the Fury been so far? It's been fine. Nothing too special. So I could dress down now. So they don't get back the Young Wolf. Is that relevant? Uh, no. I th think this is fine. Because <clears throat> now I can, I can again just set up the dress down Fury thing. Oh, it, for those of you who are maybe kind of questioning why, I'm, why I keep saying Dress Down Fury, what you do is you go Fury Pitch, and then you resolve, you put the four damage trigger on the stack, and then with all of that on the stack, then you play the Dress Down, and none of this will come back. Although at this point, it might just be beneficial for me to just, like, not play the Dress Down and just go 2-1-1. One, one. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just going to block this to reset it. I think I like this. Yeah. Block here, reset it. And then if they Yawgmoth me, it's a lot... It's it's not as bad, because they have... Both of these have counters on them. So I think this play's good. <clears throat> so they are going to Yawgmoth. So I guess they can go Sack Wolf, counter on Wolf. Sack Wolf, counter on Subtlety. Oh, shit, that's bad. Well, I hadn't thought about that. Because now they can sack the Endurance and set up the loop again. 
That sucks. I guess I could have held up flame. I just forgot about that. I forgot that they could, like, cast endurance to keep the loop going. Yeah, maybe this is a bad play. Because I could have just held up flame and killed the Yawgmoth. Not by the subtlety. It's kind of a, a risk-reward type thing. Might have been a bad play. Not sure. It's close. I actually don't know if it did. If it, if it originally hit Planeswalkers. If Flame of Fedora could hit Planeswalkers, it would be a $30 card in paper instead of 8 It would definitely be more. I don't know if it would be quite that much. So they have six cards in hand. They're at nine. Um, I mean, I could just Fury the Yawgmoth. Wait, what did they do? What happened? Oh, I guess they just fucked up. Yeah, I guess they fucked up. I really want to try and kill this Grist. <clears throat> Maybe I'm supposed to pitch here instead of hardcast Fury. So I can go Fury, pitch flame, kill Yogg, EI, try to find Bolt. Bolt the Grist, hold up Counterspell. Yeah, but I don't want to tap out. It's, that's kind of what I'm debating between this, just whether or not I want to tap out. What's the worst that could happen if I tap out? So, worst case scenario, they go, make a token with Grist, land, Yawgmoth, Young Wolf. That's absolute worst case scenario, right? And in that case, they go, Sack Wolf, Counter on Fury, Sack Token, Counter on Wolf, Sack Wolf, Counter on Fury, but they can't kill the Fury unless they lose another Wolf, right? And honestly, that's just fine with me. I'm just I'm just going to hard guess this. I think this is the right play. Cuz there's like not really a, there's not an easy way for them to to set up a good Yogma turn next turn. <clears throat> Can flame Yog leave Dressdown open if they redeploy you play Fury. Eh, maybe. That's more is the time for you. Is this? What did you What did you send us, Kaya? Oh my God, <laughs> Gorio's Gristlebrand response: Eat your Gristlebrand. That's hot. They lack the critical information necessary. They are unaware. I love it. The fact that that card is just randomly graveyard hate too is so sick. Like I, f I feel like a card like that should be only your graveyard. So, we... I think what I do is go to combat. They're going to chump block with Geist. Then I can go dress down. Geist dies. Play fairy. Hold up counterspell. They get to keep Gris that way, though. Maybe that's fine. They go minus sack token kill fury. Still have this in play. Still have counterspell up. They have five cards in hand. Like, if I attack, they're definitely going to block with Geist, right? I don't think I have a good way to kill Grist. I'm just going to send it them. I think I do like the Dress Down Fairy play. Uh, sure, this is also fine. So... I guess now, if... I wish I had one more mana. I could Dress Down kill the Geist... <clears throat> flame counter yeah maybe I just let them kill the fury if they immediately down tick grist I can play dress down a response but they probably have another creature to play first I would assume so okay tech needs arcane adaptation stop hey wire might Sure. So now they go minus, sack this, kill this. Combat first. Okay, I'll take two. So they're not sacking Geist. Because they could have just sacked Geist and then attacked me for three. 
Yeah, I'm not going to address that in response. Yeah, that's fine. This is, like, mildly annoying, but we can go end of turn, dress down, untap, play the fairy. This Riptide life is kind of awkward. I'm not going to counterspell that. It does make my counterspells more awkward. Okay, let's draw two. Draw two. I guess I could also just kill this. Yeah, actually, I think that play is better because it turns on my counter spells. Yeah, let's just go kill this, play dress down. <clears throat> and then we can play the fairy. I think I also want to expressive this turn. But I need to find a blue source to be able to go fairy expressive, hold up counter spell. Do, 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 do. There's a blue source. Okay, that works. That's an insane draw. Okay, well now we just do this. Play fairy, hold up counter spell. Just don't even bother with the expressive this turn. We'll just play it next turn. That was a good sequence. We finally did the combo. Combo alert, combo alert. We have we have cast my sleep cursed fairy with a dress down. Actual combo deck. You guys thought Splinter Twin was good? Here's the new Splinter Twin, baby. No downside, one mana three three flyer. Orcish Bow Master. I don't think I care about that. I do not think I care about that. Not now, at least. I care much more about Yawgmoth. Mm, this game's going okay. I think I maybe, like, maybe missequenced a little bit, but I feel like this has been going pretty well so far. Twinter Splin. Opponent's also getting down there on time. They may have to pick up the pace a little bit. Is Riptide really better than Mutaball? I don't know, I just copied a list. Probably not. It's probably not better than Mutaball. Okay, that card I do care about. Can EI Merktide next turn? Another Grist? No way. Oh, I don't care about that. It is way colder than Mutaball, that is true. That is 100% correct. Cast expressive iteration. Uh, I think I go hand, bottom, exile. And then we can go attack for three, bolt Hapatra, play Merktide. They have one card in hand. I just don't think I care that much about the... Um, I don't think I care that much about the Bowmaster. I think Apatra's like maybe slightly more annoying. And I can untap the fairy. Then even if something ha something bad happens, we still have this for next turn. Yogmoth is pretty beatable here. They don't have a lot of they don't have a lot of food for the Yogmoth. We can untap the fairy as a surprise blocker. I don't think that matters, but. All right, Merktide has uh, minus one, minus one. Shocking. What do we got? Cauldron. How good would Cauldron have been here? They can Cauldron... Oh, the Grist. Yeah, that's a good point. Thank you. Yeah, one with Coffers. Ended up... I ran back the Coffers deck in the Super Qualifier yesterday and went eight and two. I lost to uh, Zerk playing Yawgmoth. Which I think is supposed to be a pretty good matchup for Coffers, but, I mean, nobody has a good matchup against Zerk. And then I lost two. I got destroyed by Rhinos. 3-3 three, three, Fly, Ward 2, and Vigilance. Yeah, but it also costs 7 mana, unless you're combining it with Dressdown. 
Like, this card is good when combined with Dress Down, but when you're doing it the normal way and just spending a bunch of mana into it, it's not nearly as good. Yeah, wasn't that Rhino's match where I kept the, I kept the three lander, and I didn't draw land four until turn nine, and I in my deck that had twenty eight mana sources. <laughs> That's how I lost to Rhinos. They can cord for two. I don't know what they can possibly get here. Yeah. All right, what do we want against Yogmoth? Stone good. How good is Stern scolding against Yogmoth? Insane, right? Just counters everything. Does Stern Scolding counter Grist? <clears throat> does Grist have power and toughness on the stack? It does. Okay, yeah, I get it, my deck. Jesus Christ. It just it's just one mana counter target spell, basically. Surgery, Fluster Storm, bad. I think this one's bad. Uh, I could maybe bring it explosives. Spell Pierce bad. I think subtlety's good. I, don't, I think four flame is kind of a lot. Um, how good is explosives? Kind of mid, right? Why does Scold encounter Grist? Well, because I think Grist says it's a 1-1 one, one creature when it's not in play, right? It says, as long as Grist is not on the battlefield, it's a 1-1 one, one insect creature. Yeah, even on the stack. I think I'm going to go down to two flames. I don't know. Cutting on flames seems kind of weird against Yawgmoth. Would I rather go two subtlety, three flame? I guess I could also shave a Snapcaster Mage and go three, three. It's probably fine. Yeah, I think I like this. Let's try that. No, I don't think Magus is good against Yawgmoth because, like, they have a couple of basics and they have mana creatures. It's a one lander, right? Uh, okay. This hand is keepable. Oh sevens. <clears throat> oh sevens for the Sleep Curse Fairy. Can you have a deck with Grist and Companion of Kahira? I have no idea. I don't know if anybody confirmed that. I legit have no clue. It said, Gris specifically says insect, right? Yeah, Gris says insect, so I would assume no. Will MTGO allow it? Knowing MTGO, probably, yeah. Go. It allows you to do it in deck builder, but not in game. Classic. Classic magic online. Wrist deck with Zerta. It still has abilities, right? Even though it's a even though it's a one one creature, it still technically has abilities. I don't want to bolt them. Just debating if I want to bolt the guys to reset it. I think I'm gonna wait. I don't even really want to expressive here. Like, what can I even hit? Go. Such a weird game. Yeah, if we had dress down, that'd be nice. Just dress down the Geist and bolt it. It's not great. Dress down would have been hard. Dress down, they don't get the ability, and I can bolt the Geist. Feels bad, but I think I have to do it. Just to reset the Geist. I hate doing this. But I also don't want to take five. Life total is getting a bit a bit precarious. Oh, I can't beat that. I can't beat that at all. <laughs> Thanks, Deck. Thanks, Deck. Right on time. Right on fucking time. Also right on time. Uh... 
I mean, I can deal with their stuff, but it's not very good. I can deal with most of their stuff. I mean, it's not that bad of a spot if their leftovers aren't great, right? If they have stone cold nothing left over, it could be worse. Go. <clears throat> Yeah, just go to Foreign Prage. If they don't have a good card this turn, and I can go Murktide, hold up Counterspell, I think we're in a good position. As long as they don't have, like, a, a Yawgmoth or a Grestir. Well, they're paying costs. Yeah. Mod check and Holy Heat? Not quite. Not quite. All right, well, I guess we just do the best that we can. One, two, three, four. Keep the creature in the graveyard, probably. All right, make a 7-7. Seven, seven. <clears throat> they have two cards. We have a counterspell. I guess our best draw is, like, expressive into flame, probably. Yeah, we're not beating much. <laughs> we, are, we are not beating much. I'll tell you that much. We did on board. Oh, they have the Pendlehaven, right? Maybe they don't see it. Yeah, what if they don't see it? Maybe they don't know what their card does. Alright, they saw the line. Pog, congrats. <laughs> they read their card. <laughs> Damn it, you're not supposed to read your cards. Alright, I'm playing a fourth flame on the play. Yeah, pendling. We got pendled. We got pendled. What's up, Danny? I never read my cards. Yeah, it, it it I should really just remove the cards part and just I never read. Awesome, Danny. That's sick, dude. Most modern players don't read all their cards. Yeah. <clears throat> I definitely don't. I didn't go to school. Yeah, see, I thought that's what Twitch was for, that all the streamers would tell me how to read, you know? They would they would teach me everything. That's what I thought. Stop looting. Because now you're going to get Tonber on board with it, too, you know? Dude, <laughs> one of the bigger streamers I watch, uh, Jinxie, he's like, he's just, I don't know, he's like, he just does some weird shit, and it's fun to watch. But people always troll him in chat. They'll, like, they'll type a Dota message, they'll be like, Hey, Jinxie, is this, uh, is this Wendy's or whatever? And we'll just lose it. No, it's not a Wendy's. It's the little things, all right? Revive Siege somehow. He's, like, he's fun to watch. Mostly just because of how much he tilts off. <clears throat> yeah, we don't read. We don't read on this channel... Never. Never have I ever. If they pass, I'm not cracking the fetch. How has the fairy been? It's been okay. It's like, it's nice because there's a couple of spots where it's good. Just casting it on turn one, like when you're on the play or something, it's kind of tough to tap out for it on the draw, but when you're on the play and you cast it, it's like a thing that is hard to kill that enables your, um, a thing that's hard to kill that enables your, um, your Flame of Anora's. So that's kind of cool. And then you can also combo it with Dress Down. I could have played Dress Down there, but it's just, like, too bad if they have, um... Well, you know what's funny? If they Bowmaster, I could just Dress Down. Ooh, I could Dress Down here. Thoughts? They resolve Grist, then I attack Grist. Is that bad? You want to save? I kind of want to do it. Like, what's the worst that could happen? They Grist. I think that's fine. I think them gristing is okay. I honestly think it's okay. I think it's totally fine. Because they can't kill the fairy this turn. If they have endurance, they're gonna like they're gonna let me attack, then I'll just counter the endurance and play a Murktide Regent and just be totally fine. They main phased endurance. I mean, honestly, that's probably the correct play. 
I don't I don't want to call I don't want to call sus. It's probably the correct play. But they've been playing they've been having some weird pauses. I, I've kind of suspected some things beforehand. That's like the world's most awkward EI. Yeah, I'm not saying that that specific play was sus. I'm just saying that they've been they've been sus the re like more times during this match. That wasn't the one thing that tipped me off. I do like this Billy Talon song. I think we just do it this way. Go. Yeah, again, I don't think that play was sus, but they've had some weird timing things, and there have been other plays that are a little suspicious. Even though I think that play was totally not... I'm just going to counter this. Want to use my mana? Yeah, unfortunately, we can't cycle from hand. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't have countered it, huh? Guess I shouldn't have countered it. Okay, well, now I could just make a 6-6. Six, six. Holy shit, that's an aggressive attack. They have two cards in hand. I kind of wish I had that bolt back. Okay, I cycle here. Just gonna do this now, so there's like no possible window I can get endurance. All right, make a six-six. They go to fifteen. God, this song is really good. They're way ahead on life. Yeah, I guess they don't know I have Merktide. I'm happy with the attack because I have Merc Tide. Yeah, this is going to be a close race. Very, very close race. Maybe Aug. Could upkeep Dress Down to not take two damage. The problem with upkeep Dress Down is they can chump block the Merc Tide with Halfling. <sighs> so I don't think that's good. <clears throat> I think I might dress down on my own end step. Just take two here. Go to seven. It doesn't even work though, right? I attack with Murktide. They don't block. They go to six. Then I go dress down EOT. They don't gain life. I chump block the four. I take five, go to two. Then I die to Shieldred. I guess I could hope to rip exactly Flame of Anor to kill the Shieldred. It's like my only way out, right? Or any blocker. Any blocker would do it. Like a subtlety. Odawara would work, yeah. I mean, as the board sits, I, I can't win unless I don't attack. And I don't think I can win if I don't attack. So I think I just have to play the dress down here. So let's go to combat. Again, it's obviously risky, but I'm just never winning if I sit back here. It didn't block. Oh, no, I needed to do an end of turn. Uh, Technically keeps me alive. I needed to do that EOT, though. That was bad. Because now they go to eight. Yeah, I needed to do that EOT. Fuck. Werebear! Thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. Is there anything sorcery speed that I could have played that, like means main phasing the dress down gives me outs that I didn't otherwise have. I don't think so, right? Okay. Still not dead, because I can bolt this. Iteration. Yeah, I could have, like, EI'd into something. Maybe. This is so weird. <laughs> I don't know, man. Their plays are so sus. Okay, that was a little weird, right? They, like, played the Grist, and as soon as I said I wasn't dead... They didn't activate it, and they went to sack P land to try and find a one drop. It was so weird. I guess I can just kill Shieldred, but then they kill the they kill the Murktide. So I guess my only out is chump block this, bolt the Gris, go to three, go to one, and hope to rip bolt. Because I can't lose, I can't afford to lose the Murktide, right? I don't know that that was a little sus. 
Just a wee bit sus. Just a wee bit sus. I really hope I draw Bolt. You gotta admit, that was that one was a little sus. We die. Oh right, they can put a counter on with Cauldron. Yeah, good point. Okay. What a punt. So I had to go to damage first. So we would have been fine if I went to damage first. We let damage resolve because there was no creature in the graveyard. And then just do it in the damage step. Yeah, so I could have won. Or I would have not died there. Alright, we would have lost anyways because we drew, drew land. Yeah, we could have we could have went to damage, let damage resolve, still an end of combat phase, then bolt the grist. I don't know. They they that that ended that like last turn sequence was so sus. It's like I you know, I don't like to call sniping, but it's like come on, man. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Uh, first opponent, just please, for the love of God, don't stream snipe me. That's all I ask. I'm not asking for a lot. Just please don't stream snipe me. I'm really not asking for much. Uh, it's not infinite by itself. You need something to give your creatures counters. But it's a lot of value. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like I've been... <laughs> I feel like I've been stream sniped a lot the past couple weeks. I don't know what it is. I'm just allergic to it. I mean, a little bit of both. The Giants are unplayable. The The Giants are abysmal. But, I mean, Dallas did look pretty good. But maybe they only look good because they were playing a bad team. Uh, With no dress down, I think I'm just going to play this on one. Go. Do, 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 do. Tap land tribal. I mean, it's fine, right? I can go turn two, cycle both, and turn three, still flame. Like, turn one here, turn two, cycle, play land, pass, end of turn cycle, untap, kicked flame. Kicked flame against hammer is pretty fucking good, too. Your turn. The Cookie Man. Do you think they have Sir Ginger in their deck? Do you think our opponent is about to get two for one? I think so. Oh. Oh, fan me down. Fan me down. I can't even handle that. Jesus Christ. Heck by your turn. I could have just I guess I could have just furied. <laughs> it was better to fury there, I don't know. Holds up my mana. I have to imagine the deck that plays four copies of Coligan's Command main deck probably has a decent hammer matchup. I would have to imagine that that's the case. Playing another paladin. Okay, I think I'm just going to main phase heat this when they don't have surge up and just pass. I could untap and attack for three, but I think I'd rather hold up flame and snap heat. Start attacking next turn. Quan mana, steel shaper's gift. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They kind of ran out the paladins pretty quickly. I mean, I guess that one made a little bit more sense because they were trying to curve it with the Saga. But yeah, it is kind of weird to just, like, jam it. I'm going to save the flame, I think. Um, Could be a little sus if I don't hit a land drop with the AI. Eh, I'll hit a land drop. It's fine. Right? Oh, not like this. <laughs> well, uh, I I appear to have I appear to have made a critical error. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just gonna run it back. Should probably attack first. Do I even want to attack? I think I actually want to hold back. Yeah, I'm gonna hold back this turn. Bro, come on. <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, okay, I guess. Go. 
Your turn. <laughs> Six cards, no lands. That's kind of rough. I guess I kind of hit a land. Um, actually, you did hit a land, because you can take a second and Lurian revealed. Made a construct. Made a construct. <clears throat> yeah, Lorian Revealed's basically a land. I mean, they don't have a third Pure Steel Paladin, right? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Just... I know. I know. Oh, I know. Oh yeah, I'm literally just dead, right? Well, uh, would have won the game if I didn't play a spell, I guess. <laughs> think it was uh, pretty unlikely that I missed. But it is what it is. Wow. It's been, uh, it's been one of the days of all time, for sure. I don't think Stern Scolding hits enough. I guess it hits Stoneforge and Pure Steel Paladin. It's probably enough. I'm going to cut, like, a couple of my EIs... Subtlety is kind of shit. Bring in the Scoldings, cut the Pierce. This looks fine. I don't think I want Magus, do I? No, I don't think I want Magus. I mean, it does really help against Saga, though. Okay, let's cut the Subtleties and bring in two Magus. Subtlety is just not good against them. I hit Saga and Ink Moth, so I think it's, I think it's worth it. I think it's better than Subtlety. Subtlety is abysmal against them. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. Why is Sleep Curse very good? So it does a couple of things. It's a one drop that you can curve into Flame of an Ore, which is pretty useful. And the other thing that it does is it, um, I should've put the fetch land there. It also works with dress down. So you can go like turn three, dress down, or turn two, end of turn, dress down, untap, play this, and it doesn't come in with counters if you do that. They just have it. It appears they don't just have it. <laughs> it does pitch to it does pitch to subtlety too. It's probably the most useful <clears throat> the most useful application. I guess I just pass. Yeah, we just pass here. <laughs> What's up, Mikey? How are you today? Are you are you did you sleep okay last night? <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna rub it in, okay? I won't say anything. I can't speak for Twitch chat, but I won't say anything. We've already we've already talked enough about the Giants today. Chad, if if I could ask you one thing, please just just uh don't pile on Mikey. I already did that enough last night. <clears throat> so they're gonna activate I think I just do this I think I do this fetch a tap land yeah I'm just gonna be patient I'm not gonna do anything uh, I'm gonna hold back a blocker I think Okay, now the question is, do I flame here? I'll just blow up these two. I think the answer is no. I think I wait. Waiting is worse against Surge. But if I do it there, they can just go float mana, animate Nexus, get hammer, equip, and then I have the chump block. Which is maybe fine. I mean, this isn't really a control deck. It's basically just fancy Merktide. It's not even close to a control deck. Turtle Power, that's because the people from Texas, uh, vote, they, they root for the Texans. Because Texas, Texans, you know. Yeah, pretty bad if they have Shadow Spear. Well, I mean, they would have to have the, the Shadow Spear or the Hammer in hand, right? Then they would get the other one off Saga. Okay. This I'm kind of fine with. So thoughts on deal five shatter while they don't have surge up. I think I like that.
uh, shatter, deal five, and then we can stern scold. We can stern scolding. Uh, we can stern scolding pure steel paladin if they play it. That's unfortunate. I guess now we can just fury them. Still can't really attack though. Why not shatter the hammer? It's worse if they have second hammer. I guess they're keeping a creature regardless. The other line is like play Odawara, cast Lorien, and just hold this back to block. It's not a terrible line, right? Because I do kind of want to draw three here. It's bad if they have Paladin. Dude, I don't know. Fury two creatures. Oh, you're saying if my plan is to hard cast the Fury? Yeah, I could have killed this and then killed both, killed the construct and the thought with Fury. Maybe that was maybe that line was better. I just didn't think I wanted to tap out for Fury this turn. Hmm. God, this is so weird. I'm just gonna cast Lorien. I don't know if this is right, but I'm gonna cast it. Just not attack. If I find a red card, I could pitch. Okay, those were like atrocious. Yeah, I mean, Lorien Revealed is just an, a really awkward card whenever you hard cast it. There's never a good spot to do it. Like, if that was some sort of instant speed draw spell, you know, obviously it'd be a lot better, because I get to hold up my mana, hold up this, and I'll have to think about stuff. So, I die to two hammers. One hammer is 13. Eh, they don't have two hammers. Okay. Oh yeah, they could have just traded, right? They could have made a token and then traded. Um, well, I guess this is awkward now because we can't Fury both of them. I can play a big Merktite hold up counter spell. Let's do that. I don't think I played this game very well. You can hold up counter spell and scolding. Yeah, yeah, they just activate. Or, yeah, yeah, they, they could have also made it more damage, right? They could have made it four there. They could have made a token and animated. Song is so good, Kaya. Okay, I think I screwed this game up. I was supposed to. I think I was supposed to do the other line, where I shatter the hammer and then just hard cast Fury that turn, leave this back in case they go for Ink Moth Hammer. That line would have been a lot better. Yeah, that line. That line would have been a lot better. I'd be in a much better position. I don't know why I did it the other way. That was just dumb. Yeah. Now I'm just fucked. I can't kill that. Okay, we can at least turn scolding this. I have to chump block this guy. We have to draw another flame. How is Faye doing? It's okay. It's not awful, but it's it's not great. It is nice that it turns on flame. That does help. <laughs> I could have jump block with Merktide, I guess. <laughs> it's a big flame, a better top deck. There's four flames. Speaking of... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can't flame and fury... Trying to think if I should attack here. Probably not, right? Yeah, let's not attack. I think attack is kind of sus. <clears throat> Punish for blocking with Murky. Well, I mean, I could have chump block with Murktide. Again, it would have been better if I drew exactly flame, and maybe I should have played towards that. So they are going to send both. Um, block here, shatter the construct. They surge, I counterspell. I lose to a, I lose to double surge. Maybe I should shatter before blocks. Because that way I can know whether or not they have double surge, and then I can chump block if they do. Let's do that. 
Let's go shatter the construct. I do listen to Hot Mulligan, yeah. Okay, I will counter. Please don't have second surge. They could have another hammer, I guess. Okay. I would like to block. May I block? Ooh, I like that. That works out well. And we drew flame. So now we can just attack. Maybe they chump, maybe they don't. But we know they didn't have surge or hammer in their hand, because they would have cast either of those. So this flame should be good. I'm not happy with the way I played this game, though. I think I played this game like shit. Happily take one. Yeah, I can't lose from here, guys. It's fine. Definitely can't lose from here. Surely can never lose the game from this position. Oh, now it's really over. Can I do both? I can, right? Them involving. I'm definitely going to play the Fury here. One, two, three, four, five. Go. Ah, done. Three, six, eleven, so not quite lethal. Close. Not quite. Sure, that's fine. Why isn't Fury an elemental wizard? Chat was trying to convince me to play Arcane Adaptation to make the elementals into wizards. Thoughts? Another sentinel. Okay. Why isn't Merktide a hot dog? Merktide should definitely be a hot dog. They actually had the hammer. Wow. Okay. Touche. I will uh I will kill the Nexus. They get the draw two cards though, which is kinda gross. They only have one hammer left, but they can find Pure Steel Paladin. Oh, well. <laughs> Look, one good top deck deserves another, okay? One good top deck deserves another. <laughs> I only have two Furies in my deck, too, by the way. Something, something, play well, get rewarded, you know. That's usually how it goes. Played perfectly. I think this game we were full and our opponent was death. I think we were actually both death. God, I can't wait to play Canister next week. John A, thank you for the 14 months. It is kind of like Pokemon's. Thank you for the sub, Johnny. All right, you have a 32-32. You are dead on board. <laughs> That's the Chad move. Make a 32-32, concede the game. What a Chad. Yeah, every time I every time I listen to Canister talking shit about me, it just gives me more fuel for our uh, our match next week. They could have solituded it. They could have, yeah. I also am very, very intrigued to see what Caleb's gonna bring. He's kind of a wild card. I don't I just like I know he doesn't play a ton of modern, so I don't know what his tendencies are. Like we all know Jesse's gonna play Breach. <clears throat> Think you missed a couple song redemptions, did I? I got tunneling cats. Oh, I missed yours, Roper, my bad. Is there anything else I missed? I got hilariouses. I think I got hilariouses, right? Hold on, let me, let me do this real quick. Let me get these in the queue. Okay, let's put this one in the queue. You think Jesse will play Scam? Really? I thought she was a Breach main. I don't remember if I got Hilarious's. Let me check the song. I did, yeah, okay. All right, I put yours in the queue, uh, Rope Burn. I got you. Jesse's going to bring Magda. Magda D's nuts. All right, our hammer opponent has kept seven cards. 
And I have a embarrassing Riptide Laboratory in my hand. If that was a red source, I would keep. I really want to keep this hand. Okay, this hand's good. The back Snapcaster. Yeah, Riptide is just embarrassing. What an awful card. What a heinous magic card that Riptide Laboratory is. Have we activated it once? No. I haven't even come close to activating it once. I haven't even thought about it. Well, I mean, I've thought about drawing the Riptide Laboratory because I wish it was a colored mana source every single time I've drawn it. I'm not going to play fairies, I'll tell you that much. Definitely not ever going to play fairies. Well, except for a Dono deck. I'll play it on Dono Thursday. The dream is to use Riptide on the fairy. Yeah, that's the whole point of the deck, right? You, like, have the Sleep Curse fairy in play for four turns. You finally get to untap it, and then as soon as you untap it, bam, pick it up. It's just good deck building. Spell Stutter Sprite? Yeah, people have suggested that. I don't know, I just... Is it really... Can we really be playing Spell Stutter Sprite in our, you know, Lord Year of Our Lord and Savior 2023? Thoughts on block? Like, they're gonna make a token anyways. What is my counterspell doing? I'm just gonna block. I kind of don't want to show them the explosives yet. I think I'm just going to pass. If I consider playing spells that are sprite? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I have considered. Have you considered consider? There's no way they, they need a Lorien revealed, right? Yeah, they might need all explosives anyways. I think if they need a Lorien revealed over explosives, I'm pretty happy with that, because then we just do this. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the exact format where Spell Stutter is an appropriate power level card. I don't think it's an appropriate power level card for Modern, even if you have, like, somewhat decent one mana fairies to enable it. I still don't think it's that good. <laughs> Imagine trying to cast Spell Stutter Spread against the card Fury. Like, you know, you play your one drop, and then you hold up your two mana counter spell, and they're just like... Cast my Leyline Binding that gets discounted, or play my free spell. Cast this Grief, you know? It's like, what are you? What are we even doing? We're not playing the same game. If they cast Needle, I'm snap countering it. Do I care about this? It's weird, because if I don't counter this, I have to give them a card. Because then I want to go Explosives, not pay, 2 mana to pop, and then 2 mana to hold up counter spells. EE on one, then Fury the Tokens. Well, I don't know. I'm going to counter this. I don't know what I'm going to do with the EE, but I'm definitely going to counter this. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying just let this resolve, play EE for one. Okay. Maybe that's better, because that gets the hammer too. It's a little bit worse if they hold up mana and then have Surge the next turn, right? Could expressive. Could go expressive. E for zero. <clears throat> Let's do that. Let's go expressive. Oh, well, that works too. So now we can just go. Do I want the snap or the Lorian in hand? I think I want the snap in hand. And then we can go shock in steam vents. Go to my end step and then cast the dress down. And then the dress down is in play on their turn, which means I know there's some layers things. I believe if they animate Nexus, I don't think it has infect, but I don't know. I I, I don't know how layers work with that shit. I have no clue. It will? See, this is... I just... How am I supposed to play Magic when there's, like, 17 different subsets of layers and shit? Like, how am I supposed to know that? How am I supposed to know that? 
They can't equip Bank of Off. If they have Land Hammer Aid, they can. It's like Onions. Yeah. I should just play a different game. I'm just going to become a uh, an Edison streamer. It's been a rule for at least a decade. Um, Actually, this is the way that it worked with Train Top Village. Yeah, Hearthstone streamer. <laughs> I haven't played Lorcani yet. I've heard that it's good. I don't want to. I want to try it out at some point. Once you understand layers, they make a lot of sense. I don't believe you. All right, there's the land. Okay, that's fine. I accept. They have one mana up. Okay, we're casting Ornithopter. Why are we casting Ornithopter? Well, I could just go 2-2. Two, two. But then they have Nettlesist Ham N Nettlesist Nexus. I feel like the safest play is EE -E on one, land go. I guess we could just EE -E both of these. We can't kill Nettle with Fury 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, we can, because this will die. Oh, they can animate the Nexus, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just play EE -E for zero and then pass. I think that's fine. I guess I could play the the fairy too, and still hold up snap counter spell. Just play the fairy. Like getting it in play is pretty important if we draw like flame next turn or something. Yeah, and then we have everything up. We have Poppy E. We have snap counter. We have Odawara. Like everything is up now. Steel shapers gifts. So this is going to get Shadow Spear. That's fine. <clears throat> I could just snap counter the spear if I cared about it. I don't know if I do. Maybe I do. Are they going to let us bet on Arena for the World Champion like they did that one time? I hope so. They did, in fact, get Shadow Spear. Just let them have it. It's not doing that much. <laughs> you bet on the Seif, Sag. All right, Nexus animated. We are getting in there. Um, I don't really want to take a hit. <clears throat> I will say Nexus plus Nettle Cyst, it's going to be hard to beat. I think I'm just going to pop this now. No, Explosives is not hitting Both, unfortunately. What's popping? Brand new whip just hopped in. How much does he equip? Three? Two? This card's busted. Using my mana efficiently? Oh, well, I mean, sure, I guess. <laughs> okay. I have two cards in hand. Uh, I think I can just play the Odawara now. Yeah, let's play the Odawara and pass. I think they're going to pop the canopy end of turn, and if they do, I might kill the Nettle Cyst in response. No, I could just make them use their mana, right? Yeah, I could just make them use their mana. I could have went destroy this draw, too. Maybe that's safer. But that, like, maybe opens me up to a Paladin line, where they can go, like, Paladin animate, land, another equipment, and do stuff. I don't know. Somebody asked about the fairy. So the, the thing here is it's a one-drop fairy. It's a one-drop wizard. So that's important because it enables flame on turn three. And the other thing it works with is dress down. So if you go, like, dress down on your opponent's end step on the second turn, you can untap and play this, and it comes into play untapped with no counters with dress down. So, I mean, it's cool. I don't know if it's necessarily the best, but it, it's doing some things. It's definitely doing some things. I will happily take one. That's fine. I accept. Oh, wait. I could have just untapped twice and blocked. Maybe that play was better. Uh, so I could respond to this? Shatter five damage... It's really bad if their last card is, uh, bad if their last card is Surge. I could snap counter this. 
It's probably fine. <clears throat> I'm down with that. Snap counter. And then we can use the other two mana to untap the Fae. Using mana efficiently. Okay. It's not terrible. Not terrible. I could main phase the expressive. Try to hit a land drop to hold up the flame. I think that's fine, right? It's a little greedy. Maybe this is a little too greedy. It's like kind of mid if we don't hit a land drop. Okay, well now I could just go hand, hand, bottom, exile, play this for one. I guess Stern is better against Paladin than Bolt, but Bolt is better against Nexus. We don't really need Bolt for Nexus, though. Well, we might. Let's take Scolding. And I do want to play this for one, I think. And then I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this back. Maybe I'm playing too cautious, but I want to hold back the fairy. I kind of have this problem when I play against Hammer. I just, I maybe I tend to play way too passively. I'm just always afraid that they're going to kill me at every single turn. I just have like nightmares and flashbacks. <laughs> so I, I may play, I may play a little bit too cautiously against them. So they're just playing fairy to have a wizard and wins tapped after half a game. Uh, I mean, I've explained it a couple of times. Maybe I should make a command if a mod wants to make a command for it. Okay, well, this line does not play. I wish I had the bolt, I guess. I'll take four. That's fine. Uh, sure. Yeah, we can take four. It's fine. It's not lethal. Uh, now we can just send everything. Right? Yeah, we can send everything. And then if they go for this line again, we can just either flame or untap and jump block. See what they do. I never have mods here. My mods are always so lazy. Why are we animating both next high? This play does not make a lot of sense, right? Did they forget that it untapped? I think they forgot. I'm still playing around Surge. That's why I'm not casting my flame yet. Okay, well now they lose. I think they can no longer win the game. Definitely can't win now. Zach. All right. Well, I kind of fumbled that a little bit, but we ended up finding the dub. I think they just hit random buttons. Yeah. <laughs> I think they just didn't read. Oh, I probably should have killed that. It's irrelevant. I have explosives in play. <laughs> it does not matter. Uh, Sure. Will sacrifice my card. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I know the fairy dies, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, I'll cast Fury. Is this BM? Is this BM chat? Am I BMing my opponent? All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, chat. <laughs> my streamer, no, not my streamer, BM. Not my streamer. Talion D's nuts. It's a bad EDH fairy. Two blue, black, three, four. Oh yeah, I saw that card. That card's kind of. That card's kind of mid. Why don't you Talion? Uh, yeah, I'm, I just, I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop right there. Stop yourself now. If they grief, I think I have to subtlety. And Ragavan, I'm definitely not subtleting that. 
Man, you know what really sucks against Dothy Voidwalker is fucking Lorien revealed. Because you have to, like, cycle the Lorien to hit your land drop, and then they just Dothy draw three cards. It's so gross. Like, if they Dothy, do I subtlety? Okay, I'm not going to subtlety that. Wait, that's not, that's not scam. This is not scam. Alright, mod check Fury. Any Furies? Any Furies? Nope, just, uh, I got plenty of Lorians, though. I'll tell you that much. I got plenty of Lorians. Could be Jun Shadow. Could also just be some kind of weird scam deck. Heart casting Lorians? I don't know about that, Chief. No, they didn't reveal Jeff. Is it just me, or does this Ragavan look like an artifact in the graveyard for Delirium? Am I the only one that sees that, or no? I can't be the only one. It does, right? I, I knew I wasn't the only one. Okay. I still think it's better to snap heat, though, right? Yeah, I'm going to snap heat. I think I'm going to do it in their upkeep. I need to make sure timing is a little... Wait, what type am I missing? I'm missing a creature... I guess I could Fury first, and then if they achieve Delirium, I could go like 3-1. And then if they hit Delirium, then I could snap the Heat after the fact. No, I'm just going to wait. I'm thinking maybe they fetch, and I can respond to their fetch and snap Heat. I know, though, well, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, Okay, that's fine. Huh. This is awkward. This is so awkward. If I do it now, they can bolt in response. And they would need to hit a sorcery and a chip or an artifact. I could just wait and try to fury them all next turn. I could also go snap, heat this block here. Let's just wait, I think. Let's wait. If they fetch, then I'll do it. But if they don't fetch, I'll wait. For Pioneer, which version is better? Is it Drakes or Phoenix? I think Phoenix. I think Sleight of Hand gives you the redundancy of cantrips that you needed for Phoenix to be good. I mean, it was already pretty good, but it, I think it got a lot better at Sleight of Hand. Like, I think Sleight of Hand is more beneficial to Phoenix than it is Drakes, if that makes sense. So the other way to play this is just block. And then pass priority. And not even cast the heat in combat. And then if they just let the trade happen, end of turn, heat the Bowmaster. I think that line's actually better, right? I'm going to pass priority and see what they do. Yeah, I'm just going to let this happen. I can kill the COT. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Hey, yo. That card is surprisingly really hard to beat. I think I have to do this. Not a fan, but I think I have to do it. I wanted to hard guess a subtlety next turn, but I don't know how I beat a 9-9. Nine -nine. Instructions unclear. Um, so I guess we kill the Bowmaster still, I think. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to Expressive into a counter spell and a red card. All right. Oh, wait, if I do that, then the Fury is gone. How much do I care about these things? I actually don't think I do. I think it's more important to find a counter spell. And if I miss, I can still play Murktide this turn. Just not awful. Kind of checks these, but then we have to find an answer for the 9-9. Nine -nine. Um, 
Uh, none of these really help. I mean, there's the red card, but no counter spell. Hmm. Not really sure what the Snapcaster does for us. They did put the thing on top, right? Yeah, they put the Scourge on top. Play a 6 6 Merc Tide. It is a two turn clock. What I could do is, like, hand the Heat and just exile one of these, play Merc Tide. Next turn, set up for Fury. Then I can go, if I rip a land, I can go Fury, kill the kill these, attack for six, and then jump block the Scourge. Yeah, let's do that. I think I like that. Because I think just playing a 6-6 six, six here is pretty good. Three, four, five. I could also Fury these two, but I think I'll wait. Heat plus Fury equals Dead Scourge. Uh, not if I play the Merc Tide this turn. I mean, that was what I was thinking about, right? If I go, like, put the Heat in hand, exile the Fairy, play the Fairy, and then next turn set up for Fury plus Heat, maybe that's a better line? Oh my god, if I draw a land, this fucking, this Fury goes crazy. Okay, that's... No, it's not good, right? Because then I have to chump block the Scourge. God, I needed a land so bad. Like, I can Fury all this stuff, but how do I beat a fucking 9-9? Nine -nine? I guess I have to chump block. Is it ever... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it ever... <sighs> no, I needed one more spell. Because I could have went block Scourge. Heat Scourge, take this, counter their follow-up. Next turn, Fury the rest. But I can't do that because I only have a 6-6 six, six and 2 damage. If this was a bolt, maybe. Yeah, we did this to be a bolt. And I'm pretty sure attacking is just bad. So I guess we just have to pass. I think I need to hard cast the Fury to win, though. To have a chance. Yeah, they haven't been able to get Deliria in this game. I guess I just kill the shadow. Hope to rip a land. Teamer battle rage jump scare. <laughs> kill the scourge. How am I going to kill the scourge? How on earth am I killing the scourge? They have Mount Doom in their deck. I don't I don't understand how I'm killing the scourge. Please explain. Yeah, get berserked. All right, we died. Hmm. Turns out the blue-red deck is bad at killing 9-9s. Nine All right, explosives, good. Chalice, bad. Commandeer, bad. Dispute, bad. I think that card's bad. Stone mid. Scolding... Scolding doesn't counter Scourge, right? It's uh, it's big, big on the stack. Does counter DRC Ragavan. Might be worth it. Uh, Spell Pierce, not very good. I'm going to keep all the removal. Dressdown's, like, kind of weird against them. Oh, it does... Oh, it kills Scourge, though. Yeah, Dressdown kills Scourge. Right, that's what we could have drawn. We could have drawn Dressdown to kill the 9-9. I'm going to, like, trim two flames, trim two subtleties... Bring in the Scoldings. Maybe keep in one more Subtlety. Try that. <clears throat> I don't think Flame is that good against them. Okay, play first. <laughs> Dude, this Riptide Laboratory. Every single time I've drawn it, it's been heinous. And literally every single time. How did we lose with this hand? fucking Riptide Lab out of my face. I kind of don't even want to look at it. Chat didn't su suggest Commandeer. I'm kind of surprised they didn't. Chat always suggests Commandeer. Commandeer your thoughtsies. Discard three cards from my hand to cast a discard spell targeting you. Giga Chad.
The funny thing about this mana base is <laughs> I'm not taking damage, which means they can't cast their stupid Scourge. Lantern when? Lantern when? They did not attack. I think they misunderstood this card. Uh, we take those, though. I'm going to upkeep kill this. Sleep Curse Fury is really good when your opponent's missing land drops. Bolt me. I guess I'll kill it now. I'm not going to counter Bolt. Bolt resolves. Minus three. Get the card on top. Which means they probably have land scourge. And then I will snap counter that. That I can just bolt. That's fine. This play delta. Start cooking with the fairy. Let's go. Turn four. I got to attack. Love to see it. <clears throat> I love my one drop that doesn't attack until turn four. What a great card. Phenomenal Magic the Gathering card. See, the problem with the Sleep Curse Fairy is it's just a little too good. You ever play Scourge? I got that covered. Let me tell you. Opponent looking at their hand of all one mana removal spells. How do I beat 3-3 three, three, Ward 2? Uh, yeah, that's fine. You can have that. I don't even really care that much. I'm only saving counter spells for shadows and whatnot. Not Scourge, though, because Dress Down kills Scourge. Could have maybe used the Dress Down there, but the weird part about playing Dress Down in that spot exactly is they would get to untap with the Dress Down in play, which means this would no longer have Ward. So I think I'd I think I'd rather wait. Uh sure, that's fine. I think I'm gonna end of turn the dress down. That's better if I draw another copy of Sleep Curse Fairy. God, kill your scourge with that is just like. Ooh, I can also not cycle this. No, I'm gonna cycle it. I was gonna say I could like cast it while the Bowmaster has no ability. Oh. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> that's, uh... That's awkward. <laughs> Whoops. Good deck building. Okay, that was the reason to do it in my pre, uh... or their second main phase. Although, to be fair, I don't think I would have tapped out for Fury anyways. I still would have held up Counterspell. <clears throat> I chat. I wasn't. I was not going to tap out for Fury that turn. Even if I didn't. Even if I did it the other way and drew Fury, I would not have cast it. You definitely just hold up counter spell there. Doom Mike does win. Doom Mike wins some of the time. Not all the time, but some of the time. Uh, no, no. I think I'll pass. Keep back a land, maybe. It's better to keep the Odora. Please don't play Ragavan. Has Fae been so far? Better than I expected. Let's just say that. Better than I expected. It's, I get it. Like, the most important part is that it's a one mana card that's, you know, hard to interact with in the first couple of turns that turns on your turn three flame. And, like, your opponent doesn't really ever want to spend a removal spell on it, you know. So I, I like it better better than I thought it was. By now they're gonna spike. I don't know about that. Dragons Rage Channeler. Okay. They have artifact creature land. <clears throat> Betrayer. 
That's a decent draw. I should have kept the third land over like the Murktide. <laughs> okay. Uh, aggressive. I like it. Upstairs. It does give them Delirium. I wonder if that means they're going to play a Scourge this turn, then I can kill it with Dress Down. So we get a 13. It's a little dicey. I don't think it's worth countering a Dress or countering a Bolt. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So if they play Death Shadow, I can't Scolding it. Oh, wait, this is right. This is always a 13, 13. Got it, okay. Um, I don't know why I'm fetching. I'm not going to counter this, right? Why did I fetch? Yeah, I'm not countering this. Because I have the explosives. So I guess it's awkward. I have to cycle the dress down because I cannot afford to miss a land drop here. Yeah, let's just dress down. This kind of exposes me a little bit to a follow up scourge. We can find another dress down at some point. Uh, any reason to pop now? I think I'd rather wait for Ragavan. Let's wait a little bit. Do they have rebirth cards? I don't know. We haven't seen them, but maybe I should play around them. I'm also debating just taking this to hold up Counterspell. And if they fetch Shock, I don't think I can take six. Yeah, I can't take six. Can I take five? Probably not. Let's just do it now. This Murktide looks kind of embarrassing this game. All right, what is their follow-up? Okay, there's the Scourge. It's kind of what I was worried about. It's all right, we'll draw the dress down. Not even close. Land dress down? <laughs> oh no, chat, we're gonna die! Because I found Spire Bluff Canal. Oh, not like this. Not like this. Go. <laughs> yeah, about Snapcaster plus Tapland. Maybe I should have taken five. I don't know if Scolding hits Scourge on the stack. I don't think it does. Surely they have nothing, right? All right, I go to four. I accept. Dress down, please. That is not a dress down. Um, so we can just go Snapcaster, Chump Block, hold up Counterspell. We can play a Chump Murktide. I think I'd rather hold up the, the Snapcaster Counterspell. And then next turn, if I find land six, I can go Snapcaster, end of turn, Subtlety. Snap EI. I think it's better to hold up Counterspell. We can Snap EI next turn, and then still maybe have Counterspell up. Yeah, we can counter TBR. I think they have a removal spell in hand. Dead to two removal spells. Which wouldn't be the most unlikely thing. Death Shadow Dismember. I will counter spell your Dismember. Do you have another removal spell? You do. Uh, wait, well, I can counter that. I can counter that. Hold. 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 Chat, hold. Do not pog. I can counter that. Hold. Don't have a third thing, please. Please don't have a third thing. Okay. Counterspell on Dismember. Snapcaster resolves. And now we can actually go Murktide into counter Murktide into Snapcaster. Is the Murktide lethal? Uh, one, two, three, four. This makes it lethal. Okay, I like that. I guess I could have just hoped they fetched. Oh, how big is it? 13. <clears throat> so I can't snap heat. 
Yeah, we can't snap heat. All right, play my Merktide. Play my Lethal Merktide. They may just have a second Bowmaster, which we can't really afford to play around, because they just go to combat first. If I win this game, just saying, it'd be a miracle if I won this game. I don't think I'm likely to. I kind of feel like they have second Bowmaster. It's the read that I get. Well, they have something. Is it a lightning bolt? May I go to blocks? I may. Hit TBR. Wait, hold? They're just giving me hope. Oh, they're going to drop bolt off this. They're definitely going to drop bolt off this. Stop giving me hope. Please, stop giving me hope. Maybe one? What the hell? <laughs> How did I win that game? What the fuck? Oh my god, that game was sick. Let's go. God damn. God, that game was sick. Alright, prediction. Time to gamble. Uh, what could go wrong? Why can't we use Doom Points? What do you mean? Are they all turned off or something? They shouldn't be. No, they've been, we've been, people have been redeeming stuff today. Get up, get up. People in that region can't use points or so, Twitch told me. Oh, really? Like, you can't use channel points or you can't gamble with them? Because that's kind of weird. Can't gamble. Well, you have a two next to your name, which means that you at least participated in this prediction. Topia Sprawl. Is this a Ponza gamer? It is. Ponza Monka S. Alright. That's a good draw. Now if they play Blood Moon, I'm just going to let it resolve. Because I have two islands. I guess it turns off like Snap Counter Spell later, but... I think it's the least of my concerns. Yeah, I'm just going to let this go. I'd much rather counter a ring. I guess I could have played the Snapcaster there, actually. Maybe that was better to play the Snapcaster. Because it's basically dead anyways, right? Unless I draw a third island or a Lorien Revealed. God, land would be nice for subtlety. <laughs> I've got plenty of subtleties. I think I have to counter that. It does open up ring potential. Okay. That's good. Now that subtlety is online. So ideally they just play creatures or planeswalkers and not rings. Please don't play ring. Oh, that. Sure. <laughs> you can draw that for the next couple of turns if you'd like. <laughs> you can have that. We gonna put that on top. Yeah, subtlety is good. All right, you can put that on top if you'd like. I assume they will. They did put it on top. Subtlety is actually just time walk, time walk, but on a three-three flyer. It's so good. Yeah, they're on two cards. Top card is Karn. All right, how many times do you want to keep drawing this Karn? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? They said XD. Oh, they they are unaware. You thought that was an XD moment. Just wait until I draw the third one. Just you wait. They did put it on top. Okay, well, I might do that instead. I actually do think it is better to spell pierce that. Because the, the problem with casting the dress down or the subtlety is if they draw land. Well, no, because they top it again, right? Yeah. No, I guess it's fine, right? If I subtlety, they top it again, then I can spell pierce next turn. Yeah, I guess that's fair too. 
I was thinking this would let me, like, cycle dress down here, which I think I'm going to do, just because I want to try and find an island or that. I guess I could just hard cast that, but I really want to snap counter. Maybe this play is just worse than hard casting. I'm not sure. That's I think that's close. Well, I'm happy that I made the play that I did. We didn't draw three. I think holding up snap counter is more important. Because they could draw this card. Oh, I could have pierced. It's actually kind of nice to counterspell first, though, because it frees up blue mana later down the road if I draw another Snapcaster, I think. Um, now I think we just hold up Subtlety. They're not doing anything. I'll just run it out there. <laughs> no targets. The third Subtlety, XD. Okay, now we win. By view. Cinco. Endurance. So I think I let this resolve trigger on the stack kill it. Yeah, this is fine. <clears throat> Save counterspell for ring. I go to 12. So we can put them to 7 and then the Fury... Put them to 7 and then the Fury's lethal the turn after. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Stop. No, no, no. 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 I guess we just play everything. Why not? <laughs> now that we've softened him up enough, I get to show you my final my final maneuver. I will cast a Sleep Cursed Fairy. <laughs> See, they only conceded because I cast Sleep Cursed Fairy. There is no other card in the in Magic that would have won me the game that turn. Just trust me. Six mana, three, three. I think you meant to say seven mana, three, three. I think you forgot an extra number in there. <clears throat> All right, what are we doing against Ponzerino? The sandwich maker or the sandwich shop. Should bring in these, right? Pretty good against the Ponza deck. Commandeer is good, unironically. Bro, I can commandeer their Karn and search for engineered explosives. Let's go. Although I'm probably gonna bring it in. Actually, do I want explosives? Maybe I don't. It's kind of good against Utopia Sprawl, but I don't know if it's worth it. Cast into fire is good for ring. I think that's it. I don't think I did do a lot. Commandeer their stone rain. <clears throat> well, you see, Ponza actually doesn't play stone rains these days, contrary to what YouTube frogs would tell you. There are there are actually no stone rains in my opponent's deck. I know, it's hard to believe. What do I cut? All my cards are so good. I could probably trim a flame. It's just Gruel mid. <laughs> Man, every every single time I, I play a red-green deck and I post it to YouTube, the comment section just goes so wild. I'm going to cut two flames. No, it's bad if they have bridge. All my cards are so good. I'm going to cut a Snapcaster Mage. Do, do, do. do I think Asmo is in a good spot in this metagame? It's probably okay. I just haven't found that Asmo list that I love yet. This hand is sketchy as hell. This hand is not sketchy. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Oh, fuck. Well, at least there's no three mana legends they can play next turn, right? Right, surely? Surely there's no three mana legendary non-creature spells that I wouldn't be able to spell Pierce. Why do you want me to Fury it? You want me to Fury it because you voted no? Is that why? I 
whole hand invalidated. Okay, maybe it's reasonable to Fury it there. But if they play a legendary spell, I can just subtlety it if it's Karn. If it's Ring, then I'm losing anyways. I guess that's not true. I could go Fury, Pitch Iteration, then Spell Pierce the Ring that they play on turn four. Hopefully it's Karn. I could concede. Could. Pierce now. Pierce now. <clears throat> Pierce now. Do I get banned here if I root for opponents? No, you get banned for other reasons. I guess I'm going to hold this stupid fucking... I'm going to fetch a second island here, I think. I'm going to hold the Snapcaster. We are just so unbelievably dead. Uh... Maybe I should have put the Odawara in hand. I mean, go, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how the hell I win this game. What a fucked up card. This is what happens when you don't drop Bolt against the Halfling deck. I think we can pitch the Spell Pierce now. <laughs> I think that's fine. <laughs> I think Spell Pierce, we uh, we don't need your services anymore. I could still maybe win this game. It's not likely, but I could. They put it on top. They probably should have fetched in response, right? If they're going to put it on top. Oh, they just redraw it and then fetch, sure. Yeah, yeah. So now we can hard cast the subtlety next turn. This game's not over. It's only, like, basically over. Although, I mean, if we find a bolt, we can we can bolt snap bolt them. I mean, it is possible. It is possible. Oh, I see their plan. I subtlety this, they draw into it, then they pitch the fury. I mean, whatever. Like, I still have to cast my spells. It's subtlety it again next turn. Well, they're going to cast the Fury again, I assume. I think they have to. It's a whole Jover. Always has been. It's all Jover. What we got? I assume they put it on top, right? Like, why would you bottom this? Just put it on top, draw it again. Maybe they don't have a red card in hand, but they can find a red card off the ring. I did bring in Cast the Fire, yeah. They bottomed the Fury? I guess they just have more Furies in hand? But, like, I feel like I'd still just want to draw more Furies, even if I had another one in hand. I think. Like, I, I could Subtlety this, but I think I'm just going to let it go. And then hard cast Subtlety next turn. Yeah, this is fine. I accept. Yes, I could Fury them. But I think I'd rather Fury to fight over their Fury. We're past the point of, like, my counter spells mattering. We got a 12. I mean, if I fight a Bolt, they're really close to dead. That's fine. Especially if I get one hit in with Subtlety. Yeah, that's fine. Subtlety this. I did draw three subtleties both games. So bolt snap bolt puts them to six. Ring puts them to three. So yeah, subtlety attack is lethal if we draw bolt. They put it on top, but they can't cast it again this turn. They only have three mana. That's fine with me. Okay, so they're dead to bolt. Holy shit, if I win this game. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. This whole tempo game plan. I mean, it kind of worked out, right? We're still not... I don't know. We're not in, like, a terrible spot. Kill these two idiots. 
I guess we kind of are, because we know they have Karn. I could have expressived to try and find... I mean, I only have one subtlety left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have enough to go Karn Bridge. But if they Karn Bridge, they can't... Yeah. If they Karn Bridge, they can't really tap the ring, because then the Fury can attack. I guess they can, like, end of turn tap the ring... Weird game. Very, very weird game. Okay. Yeah, that also works. Could draw Odawara to bounce it. Mm. Okay, let's expressive. They're dead to both, though, right? Oh my god, I need an untapped land, right? They're not dead to both? Because I don't have an untapped land. I mean, I don't know how they beat the bolt in hand. Right? Like, I can just take the Bolt, exile the Murktide? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, too. Let me just go one, two... I could make it a 4-4 instead of a 5-5. Five, five. I don't know if that matters if they get Bridge next turn. I don't think it does. Cycle. Oh, you want to cycle first? I guess we could make it bigger. Mm. Trying to think if it matters. I mean, like, it being bigger is kind of weird if they get bridge, right? But maybe if I make it bigger, I can incentivize them to get bridge. And if they get bridge, they die. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Just do it this way. I play the tap land. Haywire might. I mean, if they get Haywire Bite, they're still not in a great spot, <clears throat> right? Like, they can kill their own ring, but they if they don't tap here, which they kind of have to, I think. They don't, okay. So they go to 5. They Haywire might blow up their ring, go to 7. Then I still just have Murktide Bolt Snap, right? Like, how do they get out of that, even with Haywire Might? Because Haywire doesn't answer the Murktide. Like, I guess they get a second ring, but if they get second ring, then I just kill them on their upkeep. Yeah, but then they just die on their upkeep. They did get Haywire Might. Yeah, that's fine. Can still beat that. Double bolt the Murktide. Okay, we win. I was going to say, if they don't main phase the Haywire Might, which they're not incentivized to do, because they're incentivized to block and then sack. But if they had main phased the Might, they could have went to 7, chump block with this, then we snap, we both snap both, and they get a 1. But now they just die. I can't believe I won this game, holy shit. <laughs> I was kind of scooped when they played the ring on turn 3. Wow, what a game. Cannot believe I won this. What a game. Whew, what a game. GG. Woo, daddy. Endurance. Uh, They don't have enough mana for endurance, right? They'd have to have endurance and green card. That was a crazy game. Wow. What an unreal game. <laughs> Did not think I was going to win that game, chat. I'll tell you that much. I thought we were extremely dead. Wow. That's an impressive showing. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's be at the prediction. You know, sometimes I am good at this game. Yeah, I drew a lot of subtleties. That was that was kind of ridiculous. I almost conceded when you played the ring.